Hey guys, what's up? It's Cameron here for Legacy, uh, playing Esper Stoneblade. Uh, bummed that my first round, uh, first match was lost due to a computer glitch on my part. And so, yeah, lost that round and now on to round two. Or, I'm sorry, match two. So, uh, this looks like a pretty decent hand. We have some card draw and we can go ahead and see what our opponent is going to be playing here. So, we'll go ahead and keep. Tropical Island um, into Ponder. So blue-green leads me to think that this is probably Infect, which, um, you know, isn't the best for us. We do have some discard here, and we can Ponder on turn two, possibly. Maybe go into Stoneforge on turn two. We'll see. Uh, Force of Will is great. Um, let's see. So we'll go ahead and play Force of Will. We're going to fetch into... Let's see, we need blue-black. So we're going to go with an Underground C, and we'll Thought Seize him. Oh, okay. So Cabal Ritual, Cabal Therapy, Lotus Petal. Interesting. So, blue-green, I guess this means that he's Storm, which doesn't bode, bode well for us. Um, it's a total bummer. It's interesting they let out for the Tropical Island, but it did keep me guessing. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and take Cabal Ritual, and we'll pass the turn. It slows him down a turn, maybe. This is the thing, is, I mean, just a lot of Stone Blade lists. I mean, I have some sideboard hate, but there's still just not a lot I can do on game one other than just counter almost everything that I possibly can. Okay, uh, and here I think we just lead off with Stoneforge. Um, playing the waiting game with a storm storm opponent doesn't seem to be good because no matter what they're going to be able to storm off. So the faster I can start laying down the beats, probably the better. We're going to grab a batter skull and we'll say go. He is pretty land heavy. Uh, so he's going to Jataxian probe and then Cabal therapy me. Possibly taking. Well, we'll let him do that. And then, as much as I don't want to do this, we'll probably name. He's going to Cabal therapy us for sure this next turn here. No? Okay. Um, he probably just doesn't have the tools yet to go off. Uh, brainstorm. Now I'm in a predicament. We have Ponder to pitch the Force of Will, and then we can cast Brainstorm, possibly to find another answer. Uh, we're just going to pass the turn. At the end of his turn, we'll go ahead and flash in Batter Skull. And I'm loving that he just keeps on drawing lands. I mean, that's, that's good for us. And he's taking his time.
Okay. So he slowly just doesn't have all the components for his combo yet, which is great. Okay, so on the end of his turn, we'll go ahead and flash in Batter Skull. Another Lingering Souls. Um, I feel like I want to start getting more answers. This Brainstorm, I'm sorry, this Swords of Power shares right now is not doing me any favors. So we're going to go ahead and Brainstorm right here on the upkeep. And we don't find a whole heck of a lot. Um, Jace is good, but we're kind of on a slow clock here. Um, Snapcaster could be good to Thought Seize him. I don't think I want the swords, and then we'll put the Council's Judgment on for the next turn. Um, and then we'll ponder and then just have to hope we find, you know, dig a little bit further and find what we need. Um, and now we're just going to lay down the beats. And, you know, this is the thing. As much as I love Stoneblade, um, putting him on what is essentially now a uh, four turn clock is still just too slow. Okay, so let's go ahead and cast Ponder. Hopefully find a land. Okay, um, this isn't bad. Um, and I think I do want these other two islands. We have Counterspell. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and cast this. The next turn, we can possibly Thought Seize him and get rid of the th uh, what he has, and we'll just counter whatever he has this next turn with the Force of Will. So if we can stay alive for two more turns. <laughs> uh, and he is really getting mana hosed, uh, which is great for us. I'm not complaining. It's just keeps on drawing lands. So he's going to name Force of Will and try to go off this turn. And then there's essentially nothing we can do. I hate doing it, but yeah. I mean, either way, he's taking Force of Will. And we're just one quart card less. So yeah. This is the power of Cabal Therapy. And here he goes. Storm 3. Two cards in hand. What does he have? Past in Flames, possibly? Okay. Is it Infernal Tutor here? Be really good for him. Yeah. So we just have to hope that the taxing probes or ponders don't actually. Let's see. He can G-probe once. I just don't know if he has it. What is he going to get?
One card in hand is his deck going to perform for him? Hmm, yeah, so he has the Infernal Tutor. And I've lost track of the storm count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right with the Cabal Therapy. So eight with the Tendrils. He'll likely get there. The Batter Skull giving us, you know, eight additional life this turn helped, I think, a lot. It's causing him to have issues, probably getting to the proper storm count. There it is. So yeah, 14 gets him to 28. Yeah, so next turn. Okay, so what do we want? I think we want the Force of Will. Um, I'm going to bring in Notion Thief. I think that's pretty decent. Um Maybe Blue Elemental Blast. That could be okay. Fluster Storms are great. After Sworn Cannonist is okay. Um, and then I'm maybe we'll see about the rest in peace. Um, you know they're they're good. I don't know if they're they're great or not. Um, he's still going to be able to get to a certain storm count. So we'll pull out the swords. Um, Jace and Elspeth, I think, need to go. Supreme Verdict probably needs to go. I'm going to keep in Engineered Explosives for the possibility of the Goblin Tokens, which I think is relevant. Um, let's see. Cannot remember. Okay, so players can't cast cards in graveyards or libraries. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep that as well. So... Um, Let's see. Spell Pierce is actually really relevant too. I kind of like that. I'm going to get rid of Jit. I think that's just a little too slow. Um, let's see. And we'll get rid of one of the Souls tokens. Eh, two of the Souls. Eh, actually, never mind. We'll get rid of Council's Judgment. So there we go. 60 cards. Um, let's see what this can do for game two. We're going to be on the play. And, um, yeah, just looking at this hand, it, it seems pretty decent. We have Spell Pierce. Um, I am going to be very aggressive, I think, with the Spell Pierces, where we're just going to probably snap Pierce him.
Yeah. We'll go ahead and fetch up um, Underground Sea. And we're just going to pierce that. Brainstorm at the end of his turn. Okay, and there's a batter skull. Um, let's go ahead and cast Rest in Peace now. Slows him down a turn, maybe. And we're going to lose the spell pierce, which is a bummer, but what are you going to do? He might actually take Batter Skull if I. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Another rest in peace. Um, yeah, great. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and cast Stone Forge right now. There's not a whole lot that we can do. I really wish that rest in peace were a Ether Sworn Canonist. That'd be great. We'll fail the search for anything. Hit OK. And pass the turn. And casting brainstorm at the beginning of his main phase here. Um, I mean, we may be in a pickle. <laughs> And that's a bummer. Okay, uh, engineered explosives is great. We're going to go ahead and cast that for zero. And I guess we'll just go ahead and attack with Stoneforge, try to start a clock here. Uh, obviously, there's not going to be a whole lot of action going on for a while here. We'll end a turn Snapcaster. We'll go ahead and cast another Stoneforge here. We don't know what's on the top, so we'll go ahead and just shuffle. We'll say yes. We'll fail to find anything. And we'll swing for three. Man, he is, um, or 
she, wh- whoever it is, is uh, really having issues with the amount of lands. This is a second game where they've had an issue with that. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and cast another rest in peace just to, you know, be more than safe. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and attack. We got him on a little bit of a clock. I mean... Three more turns, right? Unless he fetches, which would be great. Cool. Um, let's go ahead and just cast this. I want to find answers. Um, this is all good. Um, let's go ahead and keep the brainstorm on top and the counter spell on top. Okay. And maybe I was too quick to fire off that brainstorm, but part of me thinks that it's okay, um, just because I do want to try to find an answer. Good, okay. So... Oh, that's a bummer. And maybe I was too quick to fire that off, but he is playing duress, which can be an issue. Let's see, I'm going to fire this off because I don't want what was left on top. Oh, Fluster Storm would have been great <laughs> had we had it earlier, but that's all right. Okay, um, true name is great. Let's go ahead and leave both true names on top. We're going to cast Thought Seize right now on him. Take whatever card he has. Yeah, totally take that. Um, let's see. And then I think we're just going to hold off for now. Yeah, that's the best thing to do, right? So he swings, then we put in the yeah, we're just going to leave this as is right now. Um, he's not going to be getting to Storm anytime soon. And this is great. Right here's our game winner. Okay, and we'll go ahead and, um, you know, I'm not even going to attack right now. We'll just go ahead and swing in for three for this next turn here. Uh, 
Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and sideboard, see if there's anything we need to change. So Empty the Warrens is still a thing. Um, man, I don't know if there's anything that I should be taking out. I think we're good as is. Let's go ahead and keep this. Um, this is okay. I mean, I feel like we're going to get turn one to rest and lose either Spell Pierce or Flusterstorm, but either way, um, this is a fairly good hand, so we'll go ahead and keep. Taking his time, probably deciding whether or not he wants to take the Pierce or the uh, Fluster Storm. Or maybe he's just drawing a card, I don't know. Ooh, what is this? Turn one Lotus Petal? Okay. For the duress, taking Flusterstorm. Spell Pierce, yeah, sure. Um, let's see. We just play the Graph Digger's Cage in hopes, or do we just ponder now? Uh, let's just go ahead and just keep this the way it is, and we'll, if we need to, fluster storm him. Hmm. Let's just go ahead and cast this now. And he's taking his time. Sorry, guys. This may have slowed him down. I don't know. Um, Crocus is okay. Um... Let's see. Do I wait a turn to cast Stoneforge? I think I do. I think I just want to keep up Flusterstorm for right now. Um, and I don't really want Snapcasters. So we're going to shuffle. Hopefully draw something. Ooh, okay. This is good. So let's go ahead and cast Thoughtseize right now as well. At least give us an idea. Hmm. So... 
So let's go ahead and take, empty the Warrens. And we'll just pass the turn. No lands on his side is always good. We'll cast this. Um, now I, I think it's time. Hmm. Let's cast Thoughtseize on him. We'll take the Atutor. And now we'll just go ahead and cast Stoneforge Mystic. Grab our Batter Skull. And he does have the Duress, which is a bummer. Which I did not even think about. So, total misplay on my part. I need to be more diligent uh, just by writing these cards down. I'm just so snap. Let's go. Let's go. Um, yeah, that it wasn't a Duress. I'm sorry, but the Cabal Therapy, which is fine. Spell Pierce is great. I'd love to see an Ether Sworn Canonist right now, which we're not going to get. And this is bad, him building up a hand of five. Force of Will's okay. One, two, three, four, five. That at least gets us there. Okay, so let's go ahead and cast Brainstorm now. Try to find some answers here. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is all great. Um, let's go ahead and put back one of the blue elemental blasts and a force of will. And then I'm just going to go ahead and fetch this now so I don't forget. And we'll go ahead and grab a Tundra. And then we'll just go ahead and pass or attack and pass. Another force of will, crazy. Um, at some point, I would love, you know, to get anything else. Um, and this is where my mistake of having the batter skull and letting him cabal therapy that was just an idiotic move because we would have been on a, you know, three turn clock instead of a fifteen turn clock. But live and learn. Um, Notion Thief is great, like super awesome. I cannot wait to cast this on the end of his turn here. And I feel like, let's just go ahead and cast this right now.
Uh, I think we just kind of shut him out, which is awesome. Okay, so there is the possibility that he has abrupt gay in his hand. But him having to have to deal with Notion Thief is excellent. Let's see, three, four, five. I don't know if he'll have any shenanigans here, but the abrupt decay. All right, I uh, won it despite having, ugh, that stinks for him. Um, so yeah, despite having um, really, you know, a really poor play mistake on my part there in that game three, um, that was it. Uh, this is actually one of the first storm matches that I've won that wasn't in a tournament practice room. So um, still learning this deck, still learning it. Uh, you know, how to properly sequence everything. Obviously, Thoughtseize kind of saved me. Um, and then off, and then just having the proper sideboard also helped. So anyway, uh, thanks for, you know, joining me, and we'll see you here for possibly round three. Thanks, guys.